Now, South Africans on the road see this absolutely every day, and you touched on it when you were last in studio with us, but mm. let's revisit it, the idea that you can have your child on your lap in the front seat of a vehicle. It is obviously worrying to see this happening, yet we see it happening every single day. Um, of course, this is a concern for you. Yeah. I, besides uh, the child on the lap in the front seat, which is a very bad idea, because like I said now, now that baby has room to move, there's a big open windscreen and two windows one on each side for it to go through and it's going to go through there and it's probably going to die unfortunately. Um, I also see the most worrying, the most frightening sight for me is that child standing on the front seat with his hands on the dashboard. Parents think it's funny, some people think it's entertaining. It's not funny when that child goes through that windscreen at the force and the speed that it goes through that. It's, it's quite horrific. Mm -hmm. It's horrible to see a child like that. Absolutely. Now, Robert, what do you say to the expecting parents or the parents with a newborn who say there's just so much information out there, we want to make sure that we're keeping our child as safe as possible in a vehicle. Where do they go to get the information? Um, how can they educate themselves? I'm saying ongoing education is by all means a very good thing. But in the meanwhile, while you're educating yourself, while you're going to websites, reading through books, looking at the AA's website even, just strap the child in in the meantime while you do all of that. Educate yourself by all means, but get the kids into seat belts, get them into baby seats, get them strapped in, get them safe. And then you're going to do all the education you want to on yourself, but just let's just tie the kids down. Let's just strap them in, let's just keep them safe first. Because if we just, that, that one little step, I mean, I know there's a lot of other info in there, out there. There's a lot of other information out there. But let's just get that part right. Let's just get the kids into seat belts, into baby seats, and then you can learn as much as you want to. But I mean, if we can't even get past this first step, if we can't even get these kids into seat belts, into baby seats, I don't think we should be going and getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just get them strapped in first, please. So it's, an, it's not difficult. It's uh, not a complicated. The bottom line is if you have a child traveling in a vehicle, that child must be strapped in. That's right. Now, before I let you go, won't you talk us through when is appropriate to transition your child from a car seat into sitting on the seat of a vehicle with the vehicle seat belt around them? Well, different kids grow at different, um, different children grow at different rates. So there's not real, uh, any specific age. You want to look at their height. As soon as the seat belt is not, is not uh, cutting into their necks anymore, once it's, it's kind of on the chest, you can start having them wear a seat belt. You can also have a booster seat attached to the bot, the base of the normal seat. So, I mean, a large child doesn't want to be in a baby seat anymore. That's understandable. So what I'm saying is get the booster seat. It just makes the child's seat higher, or the, the, the actual seat in the vehicle. It makes It's like a big cushion, but it's, it's also part of the seat. It's strapped into the seat. So that child can then sit a lot higher, and then automatically, when it's higher, the seat belt no longer cuts him across the neck. It rather grabs him over the shoulder, which is what we want. So that's a good tool for parents to remember. Just look at the height. Look at the height of your look child. At the, look at the height of the child and where the seatbelt gets them. If it gets them here, that's not good. <laughs> you want to get them lower down across the chest, not the neck. Okay. okay. So as soon as that fits, by all means.